Hi, I'm Steve Dean. Jeff, Jeff Mapes, you and I have seen an extraordinary uh, lot of things in Oregon politics. Have you ever seen anything like this, that three months after he was reelected, John Kitzhopper has resigned? Nothing with the, the speed and rapidity of this. You know, literally uh, three weeks ago, Kitzhopper was at an appearance down at the Capitol with uh, mostly small newspaper editors around the state. Not a single question asked about all the scandal. It was all about the upcoming session. And bang, look at this situation where, you know, all of a sudden, uh, like you say, three months after he was elected, he's been asked to resign and, and did resign. I think the governor tried to act as if he was above all of this. When did he suddenly, what happened that he was suddenly buried in it? I think a couple things. One, the allegations just kept coming out, including ones that I think average Oregonians understood much better. The allegations involving his fiance, Sylvia Hayes. Uh, accepting a pretty good size amount of money from one group, $118,000 over two years, and allegations that she didn't report it on her taxes. That's something that people get. A press conference where he literally just couldn't answer most of the questions there. In, in, increasing allegations, and here I think is a very important point, is that, you know, for the Democrats who are in control down there, um, he had become increasingly a distraction and it wasn't like they needed him to stay as governor to maintain control of the legislature. They have a Democratic uh, Secretary of State who's coming into the governorship who many of them feel good about working with and you know as one Republican put it to me yesterday the Democrats are in a difficult spot and now they're cleaning house. You know Jeff the governor is arguing that he was charged, tried, convicted, and sentenced by the media. I mean, you're arguing that it was probably much more being abandoned by the leadership down there. There's no question that that was, that was part of it. Now, they're obviously also looking at the news uh, coverage. You can certainly raise questions about the fairness of it, uh, you know, some of it. I mean, you know, that's, that's a whole area of criticism, but, but that is part of modern politics, and it, it does get, um, certainly as you and I both know, get accelerated by social media and, you know, these things. It, it's a much more difficult and unforgiving environment to work in, no doubt about that. And do you understand, Jeff, why he was so slow to respond to media requests? Well, you know, th there was certainly uh, issues about whether he had things that he didn't want to see released. I mean, that that were damaging to him. And you know, uh, Governor Kitzhaber, I mean, it's been sort of one of his uh, both, you could certainly strengths as governor is the, uh, that he basically kind of went his own way, pretended, to, uh, well, I don't want to say pretended, but he professed kind of a disinterest in how he was seen publicly, that he wasn't in this for the glory. And, and so unlike some politicians, you did not, he did not give the sense that he was closely watching the media coverage and was worried about it. And maybe that kind of came back to bite him. I don't know. What do you think about that? Well, I'm, I, I, given his pride, his arrogance, his narcissism, um, I guess I'm a little surprised he didn't fight this a little longer. I mean, do you think he just realized this was a, a quagmire he could not escape from? It, it could be. And finally, you know, all these years of sort of once again saying, I don't need this, you know, in politics, I mean, maybe this was the point where he felt, okay, I don't need this. And finally, the criminal investigation, which I don't think is going away. Do you, any sense of how that will be resolved? Well, it'll be interesting. Uh, you know, in some ways there, there's talk that, you know, like setting up a defense fund might be more difficult in private office, but I do think prosecutors, uh, people, you know, investigating this, look at somebody different when they've resigned their office. I mean, they're, if, if they have a public official that they think in some way has broken the law, one of the big things they're concerned about is getting that person out of office and the fact that he's already out. I think that does affect how they view the case. Thanks.